Ladies and gents, we are back again at Micro Center for another challenge. This time we got $1,500 and not a penny more to build the best gaming, editing, and streaming PC. Let's get it. Yeah, for sure. Sweet. <laughs> well, I'm not even in Micro Center. Already somebody <laughs> can recognize it. All right. What's your name? Heather. Heather. Nice to meet you, Heather. Nice to meet you, too. Awesome. It was nice meeting you, Heather. What? Are you? It's going on. I love your videos, bro. Thank you. Wow, I was actually literally recording another video. Yeah, what's up? Say what's up to YouTube. Is that your spec sheet? Yeah. Let me see what you're rocking. So you got a 13700K. Asus Tough Motherboard, what kind of graphics card? 6950 XT, damn. Nice, dude. When you, when you, when you build a PC and uh, build your setup, you're gonna submit it to the setup orders? Oh, yeah, you might as well. Yeah, you got you a PC now, it. right? <laughs> well, it's not easy. Not easy. Nice meeting you guys. You, I'll see you guys around. Take care. We're back, baby. We're back. This is where I live. I swear, I'm just as excited now as I was the first time I walked into Micro Center last month, you guys. This feeling is never gonna change. Oh. It feels so amazing. This place is popping, you guys. I've never seen it this busy. Last Sunday I came, there weren't even half this many people. So there must be some sell going on right now. All right, so for the CPU, we are going AMD this time around because it's a much better choice for this budget. We're gonna be throwing in the Ryzen 5 7600, which is a six core, 12 thread processor. Take advantage of DDR5 for the best performance. And we can even future-proof the system for years to come. Oh yeah, there it is. Horizon 5, 7600 processor. Nice. You're so around. I saw you shopping around earlier. Oh, what's going on, man? Tech source, right? Yes, yeah. sir. I can't remember your actual name, but I remember the channel. Edgar, Edgar, or Ed. Edgar, Ed is yeah. short, yeah. Nice, nice to meet you, man. So guys, I was just told that Micro Center is giving a $25 discount on all the processors in the store. This couldn't have happened at a more perfect time. So we got another $25 knocked off from this CPU. The 7600X costs $240, you guys. That is $30 more than the non-X version. And you only get like maybe a 5% performance gain. So it doesn't really make sense to buy the X version. Uh, so we're gonna save 30 bucks, go with the non-X version, and we're gonna enable PBO in the BIOS to bring up the performance even more, very close to the 7600 performance. This CPU is not only gonna be great for gaming, but it's also gonna be fantastic for multi-threaded applications, editing videos, streaming, and content creation. The extra two cores and four threads are gonna come in very handy. I'm actually gonna use that $25 discount towards a Windows key, you guys. We're gonna go with Windows 10 Pro for $15 from yourcdkey.com. So we got the processor and a Windows key for less than the cost of a 7600X. Let that sink in for a bit. If you guys are picking up a key, make sure to use the code TS20 to get that 20% discount. And after you do purchase it, they will immediately send you the key. And all you have to do is go into your Windows activation settings and put it in to unlock the full features of Windows 10. All right, next up is the motherboard. Um, I do want to go with a micro ATX form factor just so we have a wider selection of cases to choose from because it doesn't take up a lot of space. Um, but we do need an AM5 board, and at least with four DIMM slots. I wanna be able to future-proof the system, so we're going with two sticks of RAM. I wanna be able to leave some space open for two additional RAM sticks later down the line. And there it is, the wall of boards. So many aspiring gamers, you guys. So many people building PCs, it's crazy. Who says gaming is dead? Oh, now we're just getting warmed up, baby. All right, we're on Zen 4, so we can't use a B550 board. This is for a different socket. We have to do a B650. Three kind of options we got here. So this is the B650E from ASRock. Don't think we even need those extra features, to be honest. Let's just go with the non-E version. We still get PCI Gen 5 support, and it has four DEM slots, so I think this is perfect. It's unfortunate that it's not in the color white. We don't have that many white boards to choose from within our budget, but maybe we can do some modding. Maybe I can paint the, um, the VRM heatsink. We'll see what I decide when I get to the studio. So I figured out why today was so busy compared to last time. 
apparently Micro Center is having an insane laptop sales event. I love that the sale is happening for all types of laptops. We got travel laptops, gaming laptops, two-in-one laptops. That definitely explains the heavy traffic today, for sure. Yo, $600 off the Strix Scar laptop? That's insane. We got the Ryzen 9 5900HX processor. 16 gigs running at 3200 megahertz and the RTX 3080. That's a pretty insane deal right now. I wouldn't be surprised if this laptop sells out within the next hour. All right, memory is up next. Um, DDR5 memory luckily has gone really cheap these past years. So I feel like we can get a nice 32 gigabyte kit uh, with at least a 6000 megahertz frequency because frequency does make a huge difference when gaming. All right, here's the memory. We are doing a white build, so preferably stick with white sticks if we can. Vulcan D5s, what the, that's $230. Uh, it's a 64 gigabyte kit. Vulcans, this is $130. Not quite the frequency we want. Um, I definitely want at least 6,000 megahertz. The team groups are really nice. I've done plenty of builds on their DDR4 sticks before, no issues whatsoever, so. And they have a lot of selection here, so let's see. Oh, here's one, 6400. 32 gigabyte kit. And it's on sale, $80. What is up with all these sales? $130 for these. Sounds like a really good deal. All right, so for storage, we're gonna go with a one terabyte M.2 SSD, preferably on the PCI Gen 4 platform to take advantage of the extra speeds. Let's see what we got, MX500. This one's looking pretty good. Oh, it's not PCI Gen 4. We definitely need PCI Gen 4. This one looks good, up to 7,000 megabytes per second read. $130 is wild for one terabyte drive, but luckily it's on sale, guys. You can save 50 bucks today, so the price dropped down to $80. We're saving a lot of money today. Let's go with this. So check this out guys. If you post a picture of your completed PC on Micro Center's website in the build showcase section, they'll give you a $25 coupon. And the best part is there is no restrictions or minimum. So you can literally walk into a Micro Center, buy anything that's $25 or less and walk out of here without paying a dime. Or you can use that coupon towards your overall purchase and just get a $25 discount. Pretty damn cool. So for the graphics card, I was actually gonna go for the 6800 XT because that's all we can fit in our budget. But a rep over here told me that they're actually selling the 6950 XT for $5 more. So I think we just got ourselves a really nice upgrade. All right, here we are on the GPU IO. Oh, reference design too. You love to see it. But here's the thing, like the price says $810, but the rep told me it's the same cost as the 6850 XT. So I'm gonna have to correct this with them because this obviously is gonna put us way above our budget. You should I be worried about this price? It says 810 on here. Those are technically MSRP, so I mean, you can just let them know like the price on here is when it was first released. Okay, if I look up this card on the website, will it be the current, the actual price, the current price? Yes. Okay, yeah. which is, what was it again? 650. 650? 650, and okay. then 600 when you bundle it with a processor, it's $50. Oh, no way, so we just saved 50 bucks on this card. We just scored big, boys and girls. That's insane. Guys, I'm so freaking thankful that I live within an hour of a micro center. How many of you guys watching this video live within driving distance? of Micro Center. Let me know in the comment section, I'm very curious. If anyone lives in Indianapolis, you guys are very lucky because they're opening up a brand new store this summer. This is like the first store opened in like eight years. It's kind of a big deal. And to celebrate, they're giving everyone a free 128 gigabyte flash drive just for showing up. All you have to do is sign up on the website and visit the store this summer when it opens and you get a free flash drive. Pretty cool. Okay, let's see what kind of options we got for coolers. Literally, as soon as I said that, this is the first thing I saw. Deepcool AK620 CPU cooler. We got the AK500 in black, which is $70. And then we got the AK620 white, which is also the same price. But this is in white. Obviously, it's gonna match our white-themed PC a lot better. 
Also a bit off topic guys, but a 55 inch LG OLED TV going for 900 bucks? It's $800 off right now, that's crazy. That's absolutely insane. Are you? Fan of you? Awesome. I just want to say hi before I actually leave for my performance. Yeah, of course, man. So I'm, really, I'm just happy to see you. What's your name? Uh, my name's Diego. Diego, yeah. nice to meet you, Diego. I hope my friend built his, uh, his computer. Just oh, no way. What are you, are you just getting your power supply from? Power supply, yeah, and uh, power line. Power line, oh, nice. Trash. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. Take Thank care. You. Thank you. Bye-bye. So I've only factored in a 750 watt power supply for the system based off the 6800 XT graphics card, but we got an unexpected, pleasant upgrade for the same price, which means we might need more juice. I know the system's gonna be fine with 750 watts, but if we're gonna future-proof it, I feel like we should go with 850 just to be on the safe side. But the thing is, I don't know if we're gonna have enough money left over in our budget. So we'll stick with the 750 watt for now, and I'm gonna grab an 850 watt just to see if we have enough left over in the budget when we check out, so. So I'll get my 750 watt power supply. And an 850 just in case. All right, now for the case. Definitely want to go with a white case since we're doing a white build. Form factor, preferably micro ATX, but I don't mind doing a mid tower as well. Let's just see what kind of options we got here. That is literally the first case that I'm eyeing right now. It's been years, I think, since I've built an NZXT case. I can't remember. But the Elite is going for 140 bucks. It's a bit above my budget. I don't know if we can afford it, especially with the new power supply upgrade. But it's such a nice case though. I'll come back to this. I'll, I'll see what other options there are. The H7 flow is a bit too big. Can't work with that. Oh, we got some more cases over here. Lee and Lee, done a build on that already. O11, then I build in that. I think I've done a build in pretty much all these cases, which is crazy now that I think about it. Lee and Lee Q58. It's a nice case too, actually. I don't know, man. I keep coming back to this case. It's such a clean case. Won't you guys agree? I don't like the tempered side panel on the front, though. Um, I don't know how good the airflow is on this one. Oh, they do have a flow edition. That's right. They have a flow version of this. H5 flow. There's no price on this one, but I think this one's a bit more affordable compared to the Elite because we don't have the glass panel on the front. Let me check the website real quick. Oh my God, guys, it's 85 bucks. It's actually on sale. It's 10 bucks off. I feel like today's my lucky day, you guys. Everything is working in my favor for once. Okay, one last thing to pick up, and that's if, and only if we have enough money left over, is fans. The H5 Flow comes with two included 120 millimeter fans, but I feel like we're gonna need more. I watch your videos all the time. Oh yeah? What do you like watching? Uh, it's like the setup wars and all that stuff. Setup wars, Ronald. awesome. What's your name? Ronald. Ronald, nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. you want a picture? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, <laughs> awesome. What brings you to Micro Center today? Uh, just browsing around. Browsing around? Yeah. Do you usually come down here? No, it's every now and then, every touch I live pretty far. So this is more like a hobby? Yeah, You hobby. have no yeah. plans or goals. You just walk in here, something catches yeah. your eye, yeah. you gotta grab it? It's like how you go to Best Buy. That's true, that's true. That's awesome, dude. Well, it was nice meeting you, man. Take care. Have yeah, a good one. I know how to talk to yeah, I know. Everyone, everyone always says that. Do I look short in the videos? Huh? Do I look short in the videos? Yeah, I really? Do. I thought you were. Uh, <laughs> I'm 6'2, yeah. 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 Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, dude. Take care. <laughs> Every time. I love it. I love the interactions with you guys. I said it before, I'll say it again. Don't hesitate to come up and say hi, shake my hand, ask me a question. I love every single interaction with you guys, so makes my day. All right, here is the fan aisle. Let's see what we can find. A triple pack would be nice. Corsair ones are a bit pricey. Let's see what you got over here. No toast. So this is from Bits Power. 
That's a reputable water cooling company, so I trust that these fans aren't garbage. But there's only one way to find out. We gotta install it and see how they perform. And that is it. We have all the infinity stones to assemble our PC. Now we gotta go check out and pray that we are under the $1,500 budget. Yes, you got it. <laughs> you win a prize. I'm just kidding. What's going on? How's it going? Edgar, nice to meet you. Harlan. Car Harlan? Yeah. What brings you guys to Micro Center? SSD. SSD. Yeah. What kind of specs do you have? I got a Ryzen 3600 and then I got a RTX 5070. 5070? How long have you been watching the channel? I, I, I don't really watch it. I okay. recognize you. Watching. Oh, you did. Okay, okay, nice. Yeah. Awesome. Well, it's I, nice meeting you guys. I've been watching since I built my first PC. When is that? Like, Two and a half years. Ago. Two and a half years. Damn, that's crazy. I appreciate the support, man. Thank you. It was nice yeah, meeting you guys. Nice Take care. Yeah. Let's see if Jeremy's here to get me my private checkout area. There you are. are you all set? Yes, yes. <laughs> Let's hope we're underneath the fifteen hundred dollar budget, guys. If not, I have to go back and change some things out. So we cannot be a penny over. Six hundred fifty bucks. There it is. I still can't believe we scored a 6950X for 650 bucks, you guys. Thousand thirty-four. Oh god, my heart's pounding. My heart's pounding. We gotta be under. Four two seventy-nine. Oh no. Seventy-six dollars. This one is after tax. This is after tax? Yeah. Oh. If How that's much is? What the... No, it was not, tax isn't included. Right. So, so... What, so, can we deduct the taxes? If that's what you're at before tax. Oh, we made it fourteen sixty two ninety one. So how much more would it be if we upgrade to the eight fifty instead of seven fifty? Let's see if we can make that in there. We're so close, you guys. Let's see if we can make that 850 watt power supply upgrade. That would be awesome if we can. Oh, that's actually perfect. That's not including a $25 discount for the CPU, right? There you go. Oh, there it is. There it is, $15.22. So just under $1,500 with the $25 discount. We made it, guys. We made it. Beautiful. Thank you again, Jeremy. Yeah. You've been amazing as always. Of course. Maybe I'll see you in there next month. Yeah. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye. I love Jeremy, man. He's hilarious. Best manager I've ever met in any store. Period. Well, fortunately, it's that time again, boys. We're leaving Micro Center. It's bittersweet, but it was fun back there. I was—I've been here for like two hours, but honestly, it felt like I was here for like 30 minutes. Time went by so quick. Now we've got to take these parts home, build a PC, and uh, test it out. Guys, I was freaking out thinking I left my keys in the store, but I left it in the freaking car. My doors were unlocked this entire time for two hours. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Nope, nobody took anything. Are you serious? That's how safe Micro Center is. You can literally leave your doors unlocked in front of it for like two hours and no one's gonna take anything. This is so cool. Still can't believe we grabbed a 6950X for 650 bucks, you guys. That is so unreal.
High settings, by the way. I just died, didn't I? <laughs> Campers and Apex? Mm. First time. Can I at least get one kill, please? There we go, finally. That was clutch, bro. Damn, that was an insane flick at the end. I don't know if that was just an assist, but that was pretty damn impressive. Sheesh. Oh, I stuck the guy. <laughs> nice. Come on, baby. I know you want me. I don't even want me. Oh God. No! Oh my God. I keep forgetting which one's the melee. Oh my God, dude, that was freaking scary. Holy crap. Oh my god. 
So this is what $1,500 gets you in 2023. 1440p, ultra settings over 144 FPS. You can pretty much throw any game at it and it will chew it and spit it right back out. The build also came out looking great. I like how clean the H5 flow case is with the tempered glass and the front mesh panel. It did a fantastic job keeping the temps down while gaming. The CPU didn't pass 65 degrees Celsius the entire time while the GPU peaked at 75 degrees Celsius. We got a single 120 millimeter fan on the bottom aiming directly at the graphics card with two additional 120 millimeter fans in the front for intake. And then we got two exhausts in the back plus the two fans from the CPU cooler also helping out exhaust the hot air. Now I did cheat a little bit with the system. I just, I couldn't resist not doing something with the ugly stock power supply cable. So uh, I spent $25 more and I picked up these cable extensions from Amazon just so we can match the whole theme of the system. So while that purchase did put us over our $1,500 budget, it's purely for aesthetics. For performance, we are still under the $1,500 budget. Now I did set all the RGB lights to white, but the team group RAM sticks did not play nice with the polychrome software. It doesn't even show up on here. So there's no way of me changing the lights, unfortunately. Even team group's own software doesn't work for some reason. My guess is that they stopped updating their software when DDR5 memory came out, but it's not the end of the world. Also, the uh, red Radeon logo on the graphics card definitely triggers me, uh, and I'm not gonna paint anything this time around like I did with the Lunchbox PC. I've learned my lesson. So I just wish AMD gave us an option to turn the light off if we wanted to, because the red honestly just ruins any type of color scheme you're going with, unless you're doing like a white on red or even a black on red color scheme. I'll drop a link to all the parts I use down below if you guys wanna check this out. If you guys are into the PC build content, Content, make sure to subscribe because I got a ton more coming your way. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in the next one.